What's up, everybody? Hope everyone's having a great day. Today, we're going to be going over the first modifications to my Yamaha Raider. Modifications, right? We're going to go for the stock turn signal to some switchback LEDs and get rid of these clear turn signals for some smoke lenses. Stick around. All right, everybody. So for this, you're not going to need many tools. Just a Phillips head screwdriver and some 10 snips. Now, I'm going to show you what you're going to need these for in the end because um, it's a small tab on one of the new bulbs that you have to get out so I can actually screw in and mount into the housing in here. Yeah, just take the screwdriver, take your Phillips head, get the lenses off. Disclaim, I already um, did the swap. I just wanted to show you guys taking off the lenses, but I do have some other um, LEDs that I modified I had to, um, you know, just pinch that little piece off. So if you look here, I know if the camera focus in on that. If you look here, the little tabs that it mounts into, like the little nipple here, the nipple there, you want to take off the smaller one. So that's what your, your snips are going to be used for. So you just take it, just go against it real easily, gently. Not going to damage anything, just to get that prong off. So once you take the prong off, then you can take it and push it in and turn it, and it will mount in there perfectly. So you're gonna take our screws out of our clear, clear lenses, put them into the smoke lenses, and simply just remount it. I mean, it's really as simple as that. Now, the reason I want to do this modification, you know, um, honestly, is because I like the custom dynamics looks that I see on a lot of the other, you know, American-made bikes and stuff. And we just don't have that aftermarket here for the Yamaha Raider. So you got to get a little creative, you know. Um, when the custom dynamics website, you know, trying to look for something specific that I know is going to work, it's just not there. I know a couple people said, you know, you can probably use something from the bolt, and possibly, and possibly not. So, <laughs> I just did a little bit of research, and um, figured I'd just do the LED turn signals instead. And they look great. I mean, you may not have that halo ring, but I mean, if that's important to you, then, you know, it's important to you. And you're just not going to get it, not with these. Um, so, I just did it this way. And they still look good. They're still nice and bright. I'll show you. My dog's barking. She wants to come outside, but she was just out here. She's scared of the dark, so she went back in the house. Oh, most important tool that you're going to need always when you're working on anything. Cold beer. What's up, buddy? And I'm sorry about that. My son, my dog. Whenever I'm in the garage, everyone wants to come out and see what I'm doing. See what dad's up to. What's the next thing he's working on? So, yeah. Just make sure you remember when you buy these LEDs. I got these off Amazon for like 15 bucks. So when you get these off Amazon, just make sure. Um, I'll put a link in the description of exactly what I purchased as far as the lens also. Because these aren't going to say Yamaha on Amazon. It actually says Kawasaki, but the size fits perfectly. Um, I'll put, Like I said, I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, you just want to make sure you, you ground down that, uh, that lower nipple to mount it in there <clears throat> and it's going to fit perfectly so you don't have to worry about it you know 
not fitting anything like that or just because it's holding on one nipple doesn't matter it's gonna work good now you do you will hear a little bit of a state of ground but what i found is if you swap out the rear turn signals also you won't get as much of a state of ground because the rear turn signals are leds too I don't have the state of growl on this anymore. I switched my rear turn signals. I'll just put the, um, I switched my rear turn signals out and put red LEDs in there instead of the amber. I just don't like the amber look. It's like the daytime, the, the daily amber thing. I just don't like that look. So that's what I ended up doing. And I don't have any state of growl anymore. But you still will get that hyper flash. And I mean, it's not that noticeable. So let me show you here how it works. I'm gonna turn these lights on. Hopefully, it's not too bright. And blinds the camera still got some nice white lights and I'll hit that turn signal and see you get the amber on the turn signal push it in then it comes back and simple as that guys simple as that man quick, quick modification you don't have to worry about searching custom dynamics because they don't have any or buying some cut, you know, getting someone to customize your kit for 150, 200 bucks. Probably 35, 40 dollars went into this, and it looks great to me. You be the judge of me. It's what it is, I say. But it looks good. Um, quick little modification gets you that little bit of flair. I like the smoke lenses. Pretty brings the front end together. To me, um, looks good on a black on black. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's it for me for now. Oh, it's not it for me for now. We got more modifications coming. Let me show you this. Ah, see those? Got some nice bars coming in. One and a half inch thick. We mountain these this winter during the downtime when I'm not riding as much. Stick around for that video too. This will be my first time mounting any bars. <laughs> so Denny doing this type of modification to a motorcycle coming from full bikes is not something you typically have to do so um just stick around man hope you guys enjoy my future videos thanks